It's reality. Scientists finally discovered a new planet in the solar system. An icy, isolated planet long hidden from human eyes. Aris. What is its story? Let's go to the planet ourselves and dig up the soil of 2003 UB313, i.e. Aris. Aris is the largest dwarf planet in the Kuiper Belt beyond Neptune. What does it hold? The surface of Eris is covered in ice. Methane is also freezing to the ground. We all know the story of Pluto. It was an icy little planet we had that was recognized as a dwarf planet. Eris is 27% larger than it. Such a big celestial body, and it's often ignored in the quest of observing the heavens. It's not just that Eris is bigger in size, its orbit around the sun is also very, very long. It literally takes 557 Earth years for a year to pass on Eris. The story of concluding the size of Eris is also very adventurous. The dwarf icy world appeared just like a small dot in the sky, and measuring its actual distance was tricky. How did we execute it? Scientists use heat reflected by an object to identify the size of it. The more heat, the larger the size. But the icy planet gave no heat at all on the first attempt. So, how can we now know the size? Knowing the size of Eris was so difficult that even the Hubble telescope, the strongest telescope on Earth, was used to measure its size. In the end, we determined that Eris is 2400, give or take 100 kilometers across. The interior of the planet is a mixture of rock and ice. Eris reflects more than 86% of the sunlight that hits us and appears to be completely white. Reflecting this much sunlight is odd. Eris is the only body in the solar system that reflects so much sunlight despite being a rocky planet. What's causing it? The scientists have their theories. One of the theories is that the atmosphere of Eris is reduced to nothing as the gases that make the atmosphere are frozen to the ground. That's why no sun heat is trapped. Pluto was considered the king of the Kuiper belt of icy bodies beyond Neptune until Eris arrived. Especially in Greek mythology, Pluto is the king of the underworld, and Eris was the name of a goddess that stirs up jealousy and anger among men to ignite war. So though Pluto is the king, Eris is the one that controls the king. That was a myth. But in the truest of its essence, Eris, the planet, stirred up a quarrel among men of the International Astronomical Union on whether Eris should be considered a planet or a dwarf one. The moon of Eris is named Dysnomia, which was the name of the daughter of Eris in Greek mythology. What's truly interesting here is the reasoning we use to name our planets. Art and literature has always influenced how we see our world and how our society is formed. This was the story of Eris. A planet long forgotten is now discovered. But there is much more to discover for you on your journey. Click here to continue the journey.